today we're going to be talking about how to monitor for and uh, review some of the alerts that you may be getting uh, that are security related within Acronis Cyber Protect Cloud. Now, one of the first places uh, that you're going to see any of these security related alerts is going to be in the user notifications settings. So I've clicked into one of these customer tenants. And when we go into company management and look at the users, we'll select my user here and scroll down just a bit. And this is where um, in the settings, I can click the edit button. You can see the notifications under protection. Now, right now I'm only getting the daily recap of active alerts. If you look down at the bottom, you can also see security incident notification. Uh, mitigated or not mitigated. So um, any alerts that are triggered, um, for instance, from the uh, endpoint detection response, um, if you have these boxes checked, it's actually going to be sent to the um, email address related uh, to your specific account that you were looking at there. So that's, that's one way uh, that you'll be alerted. If we go back into the monitoring, and I'm going to manage the protection service here for this customer. And this is going to take us to a dashboard, which is going to be another place to view for any active alerts. Um, you can see right across the top is uh, the cyber protection widget. And this is going to um, give you any type of alerts that are uh, security related, uh, you can see here any malware that's been blocked, you, malicious URL being blocked, existing vulnerabilities from the vulnerability assessment or patches that need to be deployed uh, related to those vulnerabilities that are discovered. So this is another great widget to make sure is added to your dashboard and keep your eyes on it uh, for any active alerts. Below this uh, dashboard overview, you actually have the alerts section. We click in here, you're going to see all of our warnings, errors, critical alerts, um, all the way down the list. And some of these need to be cleaned up. We, um, we clean them up occasionally in our uh, demo environment, but we probably need to go through there and uh, tidy it up a little bit. But you can see I uh, ran an event earlier uh, today. This was detected by EDR. Is a um, trigger was the command command line command uh, cmd exe, and this is uh, one area in the UI that you're going to have any active alert from any system within this customer tenant. You can see that the workload that triggered uh, this alert was this EDR workstation. We've got some other Microsoft 365 alerts here. Um, machine was offline for a certain amount of time, SQL backup failed. And another thing to do here is you can actually show the activity on some of these. Um, and this one's showing us, you know, looks like uh, it's having trouble connecting with that database, um, didn't have enough privileges or something. So it, it kind of gives us a, a way to, uh, you know, focus our efforts on troubleshooting that alert. Now with this EDR incident, um, I've got an option to investigate the incident or, you know, get in touch with support. Um, I'm not going to go through that. Uh, we'll, we are saving the uh, incident investigation for another video. This one's just about uh, seeing where we can get these alerts uh, triggered and, and monitored. Now, if I go to the devices section and we look at our machines with agents, this is another uh, column. You can see the status. Um, down here, we've got uh, some warnings and then the, the red X there is uh, is an alert of some type. This one was, and these are the same type of alerts that you saw in that um, that overview alerts dashboard. You can see here's that workstation and incident was detected. So if I click on this and um, if we, let's go ahead and close that out. If we look on the right hand side and move all the way down to the bottom, and scroll down, you can see the little red bubble there is next to the alerts. If I click that, it's going to show me that incident uh, that was detected by uh, EDR. Uh, again, you know, multiple different ways to see uh, some of the same information, but uh, I can create the ticket or investigate the incidents from here. So um, 
whether or not you're doing it from here or that uh, primary overview, it's going to take you to that same place. And uh, like I mentioned before, we're actually going to go into the uh, EDR incidents in another video, uh, but I'll at least show you where those are uh, visible. So we're looking at the devices here on the left-hand side. And if I scroll down, you're going to see the protection. It's a little shield there. We click on that and it's going to take us right into the incidents. So any of the incidents that are detected um, from EDR are going to be visible here. And the one that we were looking at is right here at the top. Um, so that's uh, all I wanted to go through uh, for this video related to alerts. Thank you for your time. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.